So today, we're going to replace a battery in an original Nintendo game here. You're going to need a small game bit. You can find small game bits. Oh, it's kind of tight. Small. You can find small game bits online. And you know, when you're buying tools, don't be afraid to spend money on them. You get cheap tools, they're just going to break or wear out faster, and then you wind up spending more in the long run by buying replacements. So, buy quality tools. You don't got to get the best, most expensive, but don't buy the cheapest thing you can find, you know? All right, all three screws are out. Open it up. And there's our battery. I'm getting my little helping hands thing here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Now we want to make note of which side is positive and which is negative. The top of the battery is positive. And we'll see the tab goes to this side, closest to the rest of the circuitry. Negative is furthest away. So, try to keep that in mind. Okay, um, let's see, <laughs> get it in there. All right. <clears throat> now we get our solder sucker out and our hot soldering iron. Just to have a solder on it. We'll get this down. Hopefully that did something. <laughs> All right, go on the positive side here. Oh, I don't know. No, that didn't do it. All right, didn't quite get all the solder off. So what we're going to do. We're going to take this little pliers and we're going to hook it onto the battery. We're not going to yank on the battery. We're just going to hold it gently. And when the solder is melted, there we go. Pull gently. When the solder melts, it comes right out. Do the same thing on the positive side. There we go. And it didn't, didn't quite come off the negative. So let's yeah, heat that up just a little. There we go. There's our old, oops, there's our old battery. Set that aside. Now we gotta check the holes, solder holes. Looks like these aren't quite open. So let's just kinda I know what we can do. <clears throat> we need to, the negative side here has solder in it still. So what we'll do is we will put the solder sucker on one side. And we'll heat up the solder on the other. Put a little solder in my iron just to help transfer the heat here. All right. So we'll put the solder sucker on one side of the hole. Heat up the other side. I'll usually clean it out really pretty well there, see? All right. Maybe we can do the same to the positive side. Clean that out just a little bit better than it is. Stay away from the rest of the circuitry. I don't want to undo solder on the on the chips here. That's better. Those holes are cleaned up pretty well. So, all right. Now we need to get our new battery. It is a CR2032. 
and it's got these tabs on them. You can find these on eBay. Uh, there's one guy on eBay that uh, sells a lot of them. I'll try to put a link in the description. Um, you know, you can get them in bulk. And it's usually cheaper than getting them at some place like DigiKey or Mouser or something. So, now like I said before, the top of the battery or the side with the writing is the positive. So we'll take the positive. Remember the positive was the one closest to the circuit board. Closest to the rest of the uh, rest of the chips and stuff. So we'll put that in the appropriate place. Put the negative in the appropriate place. And then what we can do, okay, push it down a little bit. Now that seems, whoops, is that going to hold? I don't know if that's going to hold. Well, it looks like it's going to hold. All right. If it doesn't want to stay, you can take some masking tape or something. I wouldn't use scotch tape. Use a, like, masking tape or artist tape to hold the battery down. All right, so now we're going to heat the pin and the pad and put some solder on there. Hold it on for an extra second. Alright. Yeah, I'm not really happy with that. Let's kind of heat it up a little more. You can usually, because this is the, this is a bigger component, so you can usually kind of get away with uh, putting heat on it a little longer. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. I think that looks okay. Now let's do the positive side. More solder on the iron. Heat both the pin and the pad. Put the solder where you want it. And there we go. That should just about do it. It's not, it's not shiny. We like it to be shiny if we can. And that, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Kind of went a little bit through the hole, but that's okay. It's still level. Now that's done. Now we put it back in the game. It's pretty easy, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yep, it fits in there nice. And it can only go one way. There's uh, these keys here, these keyways on the circuit board. So it can only go in one way. If it doesn't seem like it's going in right, uh, it's probably not. So just uh, flip it over. Tighten down these screws. And we should have a fixed game. All right, that was easy. Now let's test it. All right, so we got a blank game here because we took the battery out. Let's register a name, um, ABC. I'm <laughs> not gonna, okay, that's there. Have to turn off the system, off. turn it back on. Get my frame meister and my television time to sync up here. Leaving the system on will not charge these batteries. They're not rechargeable batteries. So, all right, let's start. And hey, it's still there. And that's something. All right, it worked. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my battery replacement video for NES games. I have several videos on replacing batteries and other minor video game repairs. Check them out in the playlist I've linked to here. And if you like video game reviews, I do those too.